Let's talk about how well his offensive line has been playing. 11 consecutive games with over 100 yards rushing. It is because of working together up front. Now, on this play, you're going to have a motion come across. As the motion comes across, you're going to see these linebackers kind of shift. And what else you see is what Marcus does at the line of scrimmage when this happens. Here comes motion. Look at those linebackers shift. Look at them shift now. And you're going to see him come up and watch him tap his helmet. You hear it all the time say, can, can. And he's changing the play. It's probably from a run this way to a run this way. You ask him, why does he run this way? Well, because you have numbers now. They only have one, two, three defenders on this side. We have one, two, three, four, five blockers on this side. But what happens is you don't want to run to this side where you have so many extra guys. You got four guys on this side to our three linemen, so the numbers don't work. Now, this is very critical to once the play gets started. We're going to end up running this inside zone here. But the thing I want you to pay attention to is you're going to get a triple team on this defensive tackle, and Jake's going to get up on this linebacker. You're also going to get a motion come across, but just watch the action that goes on. Here's the, the can-can change of the play, and now you get the motion to come across. But now look at this. Look at this triple team. Triple team on this defensive lineman. Now you're going to get Jake up on this linebacker. You got a nice double team on this defensive tackle. And then he, the guard's going to get up on this linebacker. You can already see the voided hole right here to run through for Algier. Now watch this hole. Look at that. Nice job with the double team. Jake got off on his, get up to his linebacker. Chris got up on his linebacker. Now look at the huge hole. And here's the outside guy, the fourth guy who I talked about. If he's on this side, obviously he'd be in there to make the play. But because we ran away from it, now you have a huge gaping hole. Nice job up front by the offensive line getting their double, triple teams up to the second level. And ultimately, why well, you had a huge run. All right, let's talk about how the tight ends and the offensive line working together to make this run successful. You're going to get this split zone look. So that means that this tight end is going to come across. And usually, this is the guy you cut on that split zone look. And he's going to come up, but he's actually going to bluff him. By him bluffing him, he's going to jump inside, which gives the the back the chance to get outside, which is going to be Marcus on this particular place. His own replay, this guy's going to crash down, and he thinks he's going to get blocked by the tight end, but it's a great design of the play because he's going to end up coming up and blocking the next level guy, and you're going to get seal blocks here, seal blocks here, and you're going to have a nice outlet to run. Watch the motion come across. Now look, this looks like he's going to block him. This guy thinks he's going to block him, but he's going to bluff him and come around here and pick up the inside guy. But you can already see the lineman get up to the second level. Look at this, already up to the second level. Caleb McGarry going up here. He's going to seal this guy, put his butt to the sideline so he has the seal going to the outside. Now we continue to play, boom. Now he's bluffed him. Look at this guy, he's inside. He's in no man's land. You already got Marcus on the corner. And now you got the tight end coming across, and nice block here. Look, you already got the block ceiling here. Look at, nice block by Lindstrom there. Got his butt to the sideline so he can't come over the top. And then you're going to have your receivers out here blocking as well. So you continue this play. Nice job. Look at this. Butt to the sideline. He's got him cut off. Now this same guy who's in limbo, Marcus has already passed him. And look at on the outside blocking by your tight end. Now look at this alley you have to run. Receivers out here blocking. And then look on the backside. Jake is still blocking his guy, and he's 15 yards away from the ball. This does a nice job all the way around. And now you pick up a huge eight, nine yard gain on first down. All right, again, we're going to run this outside zone, which I'll tell you every week is a staple of this offense. And you can run it so many different ways. And the way Arthur Smith does it is pretty unique. In this particular play here, you're going to get motion across here, which is going to be the split zone flow. Now, as it, as it comes across, it's important that the first critical block is here on the edge by Caleb McGarry. He does a good job of getting this guy playing physical and getting him upfield. So now you have a crease for your back to run. So you actually gonna get a double team here, and then the guard lifter is gonna get up on this backer, which does a really nice job. But the most important part is watch this guy on the backside, Jake Matthews again. Watch him cut off the backside because it's so important. If he doesn't cut off this backside, this guy can run it down from the backside and make the play. But he's gonna do a good job of chopping him down. Look at that. Got his on the ground. Now you're sealing this side. Here's your double team I talked about here. You got a good double team. McGarry's gonna get him to go this way. And then you're gonna get Lindstrom up on the second level on this particular back here. Nice job there. Now look at him come off. Here he is. He's came off. Lindstrom's got this guy. He's got this guy, excuse me, and he's got McGarry right here. He's doing a great job of just clearing him out of the way. You got Drake on the outside blocking. And now you're gonna see the huge voided area you have to run the rock for Algier. Nice job. Now look at all these guys got hats on a hat. Hat on a hat. Hat on a hat. Drake's got this guy with the outside leverage. Now you have a nice crease 
to run through, and now another productive play. Look at offensive linemen on the backside still blocking. Jay Sky is still just getting off the ground. This is what you call great effort by the offensive line, great job by the receivers, and now you finish it, and look at this nice, long, physical run by Algier. All right, here's another instance of the Falcons running zone read, but making it look a little bit different. You're gonna get this motion again that comes across. Remember last time we talked about it, the motion was split zone that went away and you ran away from it. This time, you're actually gonna run to it, and I'm watching these guys up front really do a good job of cleaning this out on the front side here. Motion comes across. Now, and this is what's most important. Here's your double team here. You got Lindstrom, you got McGarry on the double team. At the end of this play, you're gonna see him get up and see color, which means him coming across to make the play. He comes off the double team, and he's gonna end up sealing this backside. Now watch these two guys here work it out. Now Z says, maybe I'll block him, maybe I won't. He comes off and ends up blocking this guy. But watch these two guys figure it out in motion that these guys need to go to the next level. Boom, okay, nice job here. Cover it off, you got Watt here, seal it off, block, nice job. He's got the outside leverage, but this is exactly what you want. Now you got your tight end insert here for the safety that's coming down trying to play run support. And remember I talked about this double team right here in the middle? Look at this double team on the back, on the front side here. His head, you can actually see it, is looking to the next level while he's helping his guard, Lindstrom. And once he comes off this, he's gonna get a nice seal because of the double team. Now you have a nice alley to run through as well. Boom, come off, look at that. Look how easily he comes off to get to that next level on the second level. Nice job here, hat on the hat. Now you see the crease to run through once again, which is just beautiful to watch. A nice job of sorting it out by the offensive line and tight ends. And then you got your receivers on the outside blocking as well. Everybody working in conjunction together and ultimately, you get another huge rushing game on first down. This is exactly what the Falcons like to do in the run game. All right, another variation of this outside zone and the way the Falcons get to it is so creative. And the guys up front do a, do a good job of sorting it out again up front. You get the motion come across, so you got this split zone look again, and you're actually gonna run outside zone to this right side. Now, the way they sort it out is pretty, pretty unique. Watch up front here, do a good job here of being physical at the point of attack. They're gonna get a little edge rusher here and watch McGarry do a good job of just throwing him literally out of the club here to get him out the way. And then you're gonna get a nice double team up here and then watch Jake on the backside once he continues this play. Motion comes across, here comes Nice job here, McGarry being physical at the point of attack just to get him out of the way. Look at the double team here. Double team here, you're going to get up on this particular backer. Now, this is a guy who probably could make the play running from the backside. But remember I mentioned Jake right here on the backside. He's going to do such a good job of getting up to that second up. Look at that. Comes off his double team. Now you got a seal block here. The double team you had right here on the D-tackle, now your guard is coming up and has a seal block on the edge. Now, Caleb McGarry has turned wide on the outside, and look at this huge crease for a guy like CP to run through. This is blocked exactly how you want. Again, look at this guy. You can see his butt to the sideline. He's coming here. His butt's going to be to the sideline. This is so they cannot get over the top, and now you do a good job of creasing him. Look at that. Boom. Nice job. Jake is still 15 yards, 10 yards down the field blocking, and now on the outside, you got your receivers blocking as well. Look at your linemen running. Look at all these guys running to go help, running to go help. Nice job of Lynch running to go help. This is what you look for in the run game and CP, another big time game. All the guys working together in conjunction to make it work in the run game. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me. It's always a pleasure to break down the run game. I'm DJ Shockley. This has been Falcons Film Review powered by Microsoft Surface.